I Want Answers, presented by GRDA, is sponsored by the Grand River Dam Authority, Rogers State University, the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, and viewers like you. The Shoto Wildcats, the Clayton Bulldogs. Who moves on? Who goes home? We're going to find out next, only on I Want Answers. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Oklahoma's favorite high school academic team game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. Well, we have a great brain battle for you tonight. It pits the Shoto Wildcats up against the Clayton Bulldogs. Let's go meet the teams. First off, for the Shoto Wildcats, we have senior Noah Rosamond, junior Janae Donnelly, junior Juan Ortiz, and senior captain Nick Owen. Welcome, Shoto. Up next for the Clayton Bulldogs, we have sophomore McKenna Nagel, sophomore Treya Von Valkenberg, senior Robert Kraus, and senior captain Tyler Macon. Welcome, Clayton. We begin our competitions this season with the lightning round. First up, it's the lightning round. In this round, teams will have 30 seconds to answer up to five questions each, all from the same category. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If all five questions are answered correctly within the 30 second limit, the team receives 10 bonus points. Okay, teams. Chodo, by virtue of a coin flip, you get to go first for the lightning round. Uh, the topic for this is College Bowl. Directions would be identify the state nickname or their mascot by each of the following universities they'll name. So I'll name the college or university, you name their mascot, okay? Ready, number one, Maryland. Terrapins. Correct. Michigan. Wolverines. Wolverines. Correct. Oklahoma State. Cowboys. Cowboys. See, uh, Captain Hester. Cowboys. Cowboys, correct. Nebraska. Cornhuskers. Cornhuskers, correct. North Carolina. Tar Heels. Tar Heels, very good. All right, well done. Clayton, you get your chance to be struck by lightning. All right, same category for you. Again, I'll name the university. You name the mascot. Number one, Ohio State. Buckeyes. Correct. Oklahoma. Sooners. Correct. Oregon State. Ducks. Ducks. Incorrect. Tennessee. Pass. Wisconsin. Cheeseheads. Incorrect. Sorry about that. Oregon was the Beaver. Oregon State Beavers. was the Beavers. Uh, Tennessee was the Volunteers, and Wisconsin is the Badgers. Okay, we've had the lightning round. Now, you guys ready to play for real? Yes, sir. Do you want yes. questions? Yes, sir. Are you ready to play? Well, that's good, because I want answers. We begin next with the speed round. Next up, it's the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, teams, you ready for speed? Yes, Let's get it on. Number one, economists classify everything produced in, in an economy as either goods or what? Yes, Shoto, go ahead. Valuables? I'm sorry? Valuables? Incorrect. Clayton, you do get a chance. Yes, go ahead. Services? Services is correct. These are topics of folk songs from what country? Sheep shearing, cattle driving, opal mining, or outback trucking? Yes, Clayton. Australia. Correct. What is the meteorological term for a forecast indicating the possibility of a particular weather hazard? Yes, Shoto. A warning. Incorrect. Clayton. Yes, go ahead. A watch. A watch is correct. The possibility, not the guarantee. More speed. What are the two trigraphs in this sentence? I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. A little bit more time on that. No thought. Yes, go ahead, Shoto. I am and am I. Incorrect. Clayton, you do get another chance. Go ahead. I am, and so am I. Nope, that would be the SCH for schizo in the beginning of schizophrenic and the PHR in schizophrenic. Trigraphs, three letters together. I was doing two for some reason. Anyway, okay, back to speed. The US naval base, Subic Bay, was located on what largest and most populous Philippine island? Clayton, yes. Guam. 
Incorrect. Shoto, you get your chance. Time on that. That'd be the Luzon or Luzon. Okay. And now we have our first video question of the evening. This will be presented by Dr. Kenneth Hicks, Department Head of History and Political Science here at our very own RSU. Archaeological research in the Sandia Mountains in what state have revealed artifacts of the Folsom culture? Yes, Clayton. Wichita Mountains in Oklahoma. Incorrect. Shoto. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the Rockies in Arizona. Incorrect. New Mexico. You wanted the state, and it's New Mexico. All right, that's all right. Ferrocrete is a type of conglomerate consisting of sand and gravel cemented by, into a hard mass by an oxide of what metal? Yes, Shoto. Iron. Iron is correct. Very good. Math question. You do get extra time for this. What is the value of 7 factorial? Yes, Clayton. 2,880. Incorrect. Shoto, you still have time. Yes, go ahead. Uh, 49. Incorrect. 5,040. It's 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Factorial. 5,040. That's all right. Back to speed. These are sites in what national park in California? Badwater Basin. Yes, Clayton. Yosemite. Incorrect. Devil's Golf Golf Course, Scotty's Castle. Shoto for you. Sorry, talking about that. Death Valley National Park. Death Valley. What disease is caused by the bacteria Streptococcus scarlatinae? Yes, Shoto. Strep throat. I'm sorry? Strep. Say again. Strep throat. Not strep throat. Incorrect. Clayton, you do get a chance. Go ahead. Staph. Incorrect. Scarlet fever. Scarlet fever. What form of humor is illustrated in this fanciful headline? Bear takes over Disneyland in Pooh d'etat. Yes, Clayton. Satrical. Incorrect. Shoto. Yes, go ahead. Uh, ironic. Incorrect. A pun. A pun. Poo. You get it. Okay. Moving on. What sluggish venomous lizard is protected by state law in Arizona? Yes, Clayton. Monitor lizard. Incorrect. Shoto. Sorry, the Gila Monster. Did you know we had those? The Gila Monster. And now our second video question of the evening. This will be presented by Dr. Mary Mackey, Department Head of English and Humanities here at RSU. What British naturalist wrote The Voyage of the Beagle? Yes, Shoto. Uh, Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is correct. In the mid-17th century, the Saybrook colony... Oh, is that timer ended? Ah. ah, I guess that timer ends this first speed round. Score stands at this point with the Shota Wildcats having 80 points and the Clayton Bulldogs with 50 points. Still a close match. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma. I love coming into the lab every day. My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. When I started at Rogers State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. 
But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Rogers State University. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. Welcome back everyone to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. All right teams, are you ready to handle the next round? Yes, sir. Are you ready, are you sure? Yes, sir. Good, get ready for the advantage round. Next up, the advantage round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The first team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three advantage questions worth 10 points. After the three advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage question. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, team, so we're ready? Here we go, speed question looking for an advantage. While normal wind generated waves travel at speeds up to 90 kilometers per hour, what kind of ocean waves can travel at 10 times that speed? Yes, Clayton. Tsunamis. Tsunamis is correct. Advantage to you all. Your category will be Nazi. Nazi. Ready. Located in southwest Poland, what was the largest Nazi concentration camp? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Our county, you tried Auschwitz, but that, it's fine. I know what you meant. Uh, what German industrialist and member of the Nazi party is credited with saving the lives of some 1,200 Jews during the Holocaust by employing them in his enamelware and ammunition factories? Pass. Okay, well, they made a great movie out of it. Schindler's List, Oscar okay. Schindler. Number three, these were among the 23 defendants convicted in what German city in 1946? Alfred Jodl, Karl Dennitz, or Rudolf Hess? Berlin. Incorrect. Nuremberg. Nuremberg. All right. Back to speed looking for a new advantage. <laughs> Severe thunderstorms and tornadoes are often preceded by clouds tinted with what characteristic color? Clayton, yes. Green. Green is correct. Advantage back to you. Your category this time is chemical compounds. Okay. Number one. Ammonia consists of what two gases? Chlorine and oxygen. Incorrect, nitrogen and hydrogen. Number two, a compound with iron in the plus three oxidation state is ferric. What adjective indicates a compound with iron in the plus two oxidation state? Pass. That would be ferrous, ferrous. And number three, re reefs are built up from layers of coral skeletons made up of what chemical compound? Calcium carbonate. Correct. Very good. More speed. What country is the setting for these musicals? Beauty and the Beast, Gigi. Yes, Clayton. France. France is correct. Advantage back to you. Category this time is optics. Okay. With the naked eye, the angular size of a full moon is 0.5 degrees. But if you view it with 10 times binoculars, it appears to subtend an angle of how many degrees? 0.15. Incorrect. 0 0.5 times 10 would be 5, so 5. Number two, in the study of optics, birefringence is the same as what phenomenon in natural crystalline materials such as Iceland spar? Refraction. refraction. More specific. Compound refraction. Compound refraction. Close. Double refraction. Sorry, double refraction. In comparison to flat mirrors, what kind of mirrors provide a wider field of view? Convex. Convex mirrors is correct. Very good. Okay, this next speed question is a math question to get the next advantage. 
There are four trails from a lodge to a lake and five trails from the lake to a mountain peak. How many different routes are there from the lodge to the mountain peak? Yes, Clayton. 144. Incorrect. Shoto, you still get some time. I'll go ahead and allow it. It's fine. Go ahead. 20. Yes. Sorry? 20. 20 is correct. <laughs> Advantage to you all. I want to keep things a little bit fair. Give them a chance. All right. So for this uh, category, it is chemical reactions. Okay. Number one. Enzymes increase the rate of a chemical reaction by lowering what energy required to convert reactants to products? Uh, pass. Okay, that would be activation energy. Number two, this describes what kind of replacement reaction? AB plus CD yields AC plus BD. Pass. That would be double replacement, double replacement. Number three, an electron donor is also known as what kind of agent? Pass. That'd be a reducer, a reducer agent. Okay, looking for another advantage. The two parts of Africa once controlled by Portugal include Mozambique adjacent to the Indian Ocean and what country adjacent to the Atlantic? Yes, Clayton. France. Incorrect. Shoto. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Uganda. Sorry? Uganda. Incorrect. Angola. Angola. The displacement of a wave from zero is called its what? Yes, Clayton. Frequency. Incorrect. Shoto. Go ahead. Wavelength. Incorrect. Amplitude. Amplitude there. For centuries, the branch of what kind of tree has been an emblem of peace? Clayton, yes. Olive. Um, that's fine. It works. Yeah, olive branch. I'm looking for that, but olive will work. Good. Advantage back to you all. Category this time is scandals. Ooh, scandals. In 2015, what automaker leaped into the news when it disclosed that the company had intentionally installed devices on their cars that falsified emissions testing data? Toyota. Incorrect. Volkswagen. She was right. In 2015, issues of national security prompted concern over the physical location of whose email server? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Correct. In 1986, Americans learned that profits from the prohibited sale of U.S. arms to Iran had been illegally diverted to support insurgents in what Central American country? Panama. Panama. Incorrect. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Okay. The Glywitz incident of 1939 was one of several staged attacks by Adolf, that Adolf Hitler used to justify the invasion of what Eastern European country? Yes, Shoto. Poland. Poland is correct. Advantage back to you. The category this time is nervous system. Number one. Neurotransmitters carry signals across what gaps between neurons? Uh, pass. That'd be synapses or synapses. Cranial nerve 2, a paired nerve that transmits visual information from the retina to the brain, is also known by what other name? Sorry, time on that. Uh, the optic nerve, optic nerve. In what part of the body are cutaneous receptors found? Uh, fingers. Incorrect, more general, the skin, oh. the skin. Okay, oh, that timer does end our advantage round. Score stands at this point, the Shota Wildcats with 100 points, the Clayton Bulldogs with 130 points. Still anybody's match, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. I love coming into the lab every day. My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. 
When I started at Rogers State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Rogers State University. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma. Welcome back everyone to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. All right teams, you ready to handle the next round? Yeah. Almost sounds repetitive, doesn't it? The next round would be the whirlwind round. Next up, the whirlwind round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions within a minute, they will receive 10 bonus points. Okay, Shoto, you are the trailing team at this point of the game. Your categories will be structures, French, or Venus. What would you like, and would you like it for yourselves or for Clayton? Structures. Your choice? Structures. Mm -hmm. Structures. For you We're, or for them? Yes, for us. For you guys. Okay, structures for you. Okay. okay, and your minute will begin after I read the first question. I'll give you a list of structures. You tell me what kind of structures they are. Okay, I'll give the list, you tell me the kind. Number one, Washington and San Jacinto. A monument. Yeah, Sorry? Monument. Monuments, correct. Gateway and Arc de Triomphe. Uh, arch. Correct. Hum Humbert, Verrazano Narrows, and Golden Gates. Uh, bridge. Correct. New Gates, Leavenworth, and Alcatraz. Prison. Correct. Arrowhead, Wrigley, Fenway. Fields. Incorrect. Mace. Holland, Lincoln, and Baltimore Harbor. Uh, pass. Lincoln, Jefferson, and Vietnam Veterans. Memorial. Correct. Pitti, Versailles, and Buckingham. Uh, palace. Correct. Bolshoi, Savoy, and Globe. Uh, theater. Correct. Johns Hopkins, Humana, and Bellevue. Uh, college. Incorrect. That last one was hospitals. Hospitals. All right, well, you did get through all 10, very good. All right, Clayton, it's your chance to handle the whirlwind round. Your categories will be French, Venus, or opposites. What would you like? Opposites. 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 Again, your minute will begin after I read the first question. The directions, attract some, I'm sorry, yes, attract some points for your team by giving me the closest opposites to the following words, okay? Number one, prideful. Humble. 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 Correct. Attraction. Disgust. Incorrect. Silence. Uh, noise. Correct. Knowledge. Ignorance. Correct. Safety. Danger. Correct. Convex. Concave. Correct. Wealth. Poor. I'll count that. I'll count that. Poverty, I heard. Yes. Credit. Pass. Friendship. Enemy. Incorrect. Ingress. Digress. Incorrect. It was egress. Yes. That was all 10. Um, for friendship, enmity. Enmity. 
So it needs to be a little bit closer than that. I knew, did understand what you're going for. Okay, well, after the whirlwind round, score stands. Showed a Wildcats with 170 points. Clayton Bulldogs with 190 points. Still too close to call. Are you ready to wrap up this match with more speed? Yeah. Well, I know I am because I want answers. Here we go. Located in your skin, what do the eccrine glands produce? Shoto, yes. A sweat. Sweat is correct. In 2012, what country issued a lengthy jail sentence to a doctor who had assisted the U.S. in locating Osama bin Laden? Clayton, yes. Iraq. Incorrect. Shoto. Yes, go ahead. Kuwait. Incorrect. Pakistan. Pakistan on that one. Restitude, courage, benevolence, respect, honesty, honor, and loyalty are the seven virtues in what Japanese code of conduct? Yes, Shoto. The samurai. Not quite specific enough. Sorry, Clayton. Yes, go ahead. The samurai's code. Incorrect. Bushido. Bushido code. Sorry about that. What kind of matter is hypothesized to account for gravitational effects that are apparently the result of... In yes, Clayton. Dark matter. Dark matter is correct. What conquistador conquered the empire with the capital of Tenochtitlan. Yes, Clayton. De Soto. Incorrect. Shoto, you get your chance. Sorry, time on that. Cortez. Cortez on that one. What constellation is envisioned as a centaur shooting an arrow towards the constellation? Yes, Clayton. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is correct. The United States seized the San Francisco Bay Area during what war? I see you're trying. Yes, I'm not sure what happens with the buzzer. Go ahead. The Spanish War. Incorrect, Shoto. Sorry. Clayton? Yes, go ahead. World War II. Incorrect. The Mexican-American War. Oh, no. That timer does end our competition. Final score stands the Shota Wildcats with 180 points, the Clayton Bulldogs with 210 points. Clayton, you will be moving on to the second round. Congratulations. Yes. Shoto, do not hang your heads. You played a great match. We appreciate you all so much. Wonderful, wonderful job, and we do wish you all the best of luck in your upcoming academic team season. Well, that does wrap up this episode of I Want Answers. We definitely want to thank our two teams for joining us this, for this evening. We de definitely can't do this without them. We, of course, want to thank our season sponsors, particularly the Grand River Dam Authority, for giving us their support. We can't do this without you. And, of course, for television, it's always about you, the viewers, and we thank you for joining us each and every week as we continue to explore the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. If you knew some of the answers, go thank a teacher. But if you know freedom, go thank our military. On behalf of all of us here at I Want Answers and RSU Public Television, this is your host, Jeff Gaffin, saying until next time, good night. So long, everyone. Follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram and watch previous episodes anytime at rsu.tv. Make sure to join us next week for another exciting competition here on I Want Answers.